After apparently winning the Solo World Cup, aka the Diamond Plus Ranked Cup, I analyzed 11 reasons why it's impossible to fight Asian Jeff. Do you ever struggle with players aggressing you from above? In this clip, Asian Jeff edits his stairs into a half stair and waits for his opponent to make an open edit, before hitting a big pump shot and resetting the floor, blocking the opponent's shot back. From his point of view, he has a right hand peek over this stair, however he's almost completely hidden from the other player. Unfortunately, he hit a complete minimum with his pump, but he made another really nice play to finish the fight. Jeff attempts to fight the player in that same box, but notices he's elevated up and away from him. The player up above edits his cone so that it's weak, which is a sign that he's going to spray through, so Jeff edits his floor into a half. This gives him the perfect peek on the player up above while staying completely hidden, allowing him to pick up this elim. But this is far from the only strategy Jeff uses when players have height over him. This is one of the most common situations that players make mistakes in. Asian Jeff is ramping up onto another player, however the opponent is one tile higher than him. A play many people would make in this situation is to flip the ramp and to shoot you. So to counter that, Jeff double edits a floor and a cone and places a cone on top of the opponent's ramp, blocking his movement. He then jumps to the right and hits a shot, blocking any returning damage with a wall. From the opponent's POV, Jeff was in front of him at the other side of his wall, but when he looks up from editing his ramp, Jeff is completely gone. This relatively simple mechanic is easy to learn, and from there, all Jeff has to do is edit and hit a max damage shot to finish the fight quickly. But what if the other player is much further away from you? In this fight, Jeff gets beamed from a distance and instantly creates two boxes to give himself time to heal. Many players would end up coming down to you, which would save you materials in this situation. However, in this situation, the other player just stays on the hill, which gives Jeff the time to heal. From here, Jeff does the exact same setup as the previous clip, as he starts to ramp upwards and places a cone and his floor at the top. However, this time, rather than double editing and jumping to the side, he plays is a wall at the other side as if he's going to do a triple edit and then resets both the cone and the floor. From this position, he can then jump and deal chip damage onto the other player and then catch himself with other builds. This small amount of damage stops the opponent from spraying, allowing Jeff to crank straight up for height. But repeatedly getting chip damage is actually a really important part of Jeff's fighting style. Jeff starts this fight with a bad edit and he's punished for it. While he's trying to pop a big shield, the other player is being incredibly annoying and spraying his wall with his AR, denying the heal. He holds the wall the first First time it breaks, however, then he switches to his pump and while aiming down sights, pre-fires a small chip damage back onto the other player, immediately holding the wall afterwards. He then does the exact same thing again, cracking the opponent's shield and giving him time to pop his big pot. At this point, since he's just cracked the opponent and he's popped his own big pot, he knows he has the HP advantage, so he can now get aggressive onto the other player's wall and despite messing up the wall replace, he's able to easily finish the fight. However, he's pushed by another player and now has to play defensively. Asian Jeff is healing in a box made nearly entirely out of enemy builds, and another player tries to attempt to take the wood wall, which Jeff is able to hold. Many players in this situation make an edit play from this wall to try to get damage off, but Jeff pushes back through his old builds into some brick boxes that he fully owns. If the opponent follows him outside of the box, Jeff will have more time to heal, which is actually the right play, but the player makes a rookie mistake of chasing behind him through the builds that he doesn't own since they're weaker. Seeing this, Jeff creates two metal boxes to give himself more space. After failing to pre-fire the opponent who's trying to take his wall, he creates a another two boxes. The order of this is actually really critical. Since the opponent is following the path that Jeff took, he's lured into box number two, where he's completely surrounded by Jeff's builds. Jeff then edits his cone, which from the opponent's perspective means he's safe to double swing his pickaxe. However, in reality, Jeff is holding a right hand peak. He resets the cone and then edits the wall, exposing the player with his pickaxe out. From here, he hits a 165 pump, and since the opponent is now stuck in amongst all of Jeff's builds, he has no way to escape and is easily cleaned up. Had the opponent gone onto the outside of the box, he still would have had a ton of space to be able to fight from, so this play was a win-win. However, this right-hand edit that he took the pump shot from can often lead to you shooting the wall or grabbing the edit on the wall closest to you rather than the one further away. If you use a window edit to piece though, it's much easier to grab hold of the wall on the other side since you don't accidentally hit the wall closest to you, and you can do this all whilst maintaining a right-hand peak. Jeff does this a number of times in his fights, and it's relatively simple to put a cone into the opponent's box and then to wipe them out. This is one of the easiest ways to win fights when you're weak. In this fight, Asian Jeff hits a big damage shot through his wall, but rather than slowing down and healing, he opens up a wide edit and just stares at the opponent. Since he'll die to a single pump headshot, 
It's just too tempting and eventually the other player gets greedy and opens up a bad edit. This allows Jeff to hit a 93 shot, reset the wall to block the opponents and then re-edit the wall to finish the fight. You may think this will only work on bad players but his opponent had 15 elims and you'd probably be surprised how many good players you can capitalize on just because they lose patience. But this isn't the only bad edit that Jeff does. In this fight Asian Jeff does a lot of 50-50 top row edits where you and the opponent are both exposed. Now if you do something enough times, eventually the other player will catch on and try to predict you. Here the opponent already tried once to run straight out with Jeff, so Jeff knows exactly what he wants to do. He edits and resets the wall so it's weak and then just kind of stares at him for a bit. The other player, also predicting that Jeff will make a large top row edit, as he already has done twice, attempts to pre-fire him in return but just destroys the wall. This leaves him in the open, allowing Jeff just to one pump him. The mistake the opponent made here was not holding his wall after pre-firing as the shot would have either stolen the wall or hit Jeff. Now Jeff made this player look like a bit of a flopper, however, there's actually a way to find bad players in your Fortnite matches. In this clip, Asian Jeff is going for a supply drop when he gets shot by another player. Since this player disengages and runs away, that's a clear sign that the player doesn't want to fight, most likely because they either aren't confident or they don't have that much HP. With this information, Jeff weakens the player with his AR, follows him using his grappler and eventually phases into his box because he knows he's weak and will easily be able to win the fight. Now you can ramp phase into players boxes like Jeff did there, however you can also just jump straight through the wall. In this clip, the opponent boxes up diagonally onto Jeff's box, a really good angle to push from. To counter this, Jeff does a really nice peanut bar edit, swinging directly into the corner of his box, allowing him to hit a 114 pump shot onto the other player. However, since the other player boxed up and edited his wall, after getting hit, he resets it. This means the wall goes down to around 45 HP, giving a one second window where it can always be destroyed by a single pickaxe swing. This means that with the right timing, Jeff can just jump and pickaxe straight into the box and through the wall. Since the ramp in the other player's box has just been placed, immediately after pickaxing through the wall, Jeff can switch to his shotgun, shoot it to weaken it, and then immediately switch to his pickaxe to break and replace it with his own cone. This would have been a really nice clip, however the other player unfortunately rifted and Jeff had to finish him with an AR out of the sky. The angle of the first shot was really nice, however there's actually an angle you can attack any box from and never be seen. If you're at least halfway in the back of your box, you're completely hidden from any player in one of these boxes, no matter what peak they make. In this fight, Jeff uses this to his advantage by sitting deep into the box and spraying his opponent to weaken the wall, before attempting the wall replace. Unfortunately, like the previous fight, the player runs, however Jeff still manages to kill him in the endgame. Now because I'm really nice, I'll give you a little bonus clip. This is yet again another way to aggress a player who's right up above you. In this clip, Jeff uses the grappler to try to get himself up, but he still ends up being a layer or two below the other player. Now he sets up the triple edit a very similar way to he did in one of the previous clips, but rather than double resetting and then jumping over the wall, he actually just mantles up on top of the wall that is in front of him, and in this case hits an absolute max damage shot to wipe out the other player. When watching at full speed, it looks cool and it's relatively simple. Given the speed of his mechanics, I'm really not surprised that he's really blown up recently on YouTube, TikTok, and on Twitch. But the reality is, for most people, a lot of what he does is not that applicable to you. So if you want to find tips and tricks for how to fight with slower mechanic, then click this video on screen to find out why fast mechanics in Fortnite are overrated.